once again. Hello. This is an emotional time. It's our 12th <laughs> and final episode of our look back at my dad's 50 pantomimes. And really today we had to finish at the venue of the 50th. We're here in another beautiful setting. Yes, this is the Lowther Pavilion. A clever turn there and a slight move will show you. It's called the Lowther Pavilion. Well so we've done, uh, we've done three pantomimes here at the Lowther Pavilion. We have, and you may have been able to catch a glimpse in the background there, but I think it is a sign that you've made it as a performer <laughs> when you <laughs> get a life-size image on the outside yeah, of I'll the look. building you're performing in, there you go. Yeah. Hang on, let's try and recreate it in all its glory. Okay, yes. yes. It's close. You I seem can't... to be covering your own image. I've ruined it. <laughs> there, you it. There, there you go, there's the sheer excitement of everything. That's it. We'll go inside in a minute and find out some more interesting things. The first uh, pantomime we did here was Dick Whittington. Yes. Uh, with the great Danny Rogers, who we proved was staying in the uh, public toilets just around the side. Just around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Not absolutely true, but uh, we thought it was funny at the time. I don't uh, know if he did. No, we also shared a dressing room with Danny and with Simon Turner. And Simon was playing the uh, Alderman Fitzwarren yes. in the pantomime, but also doubling as the Sultan of Morocco. Yeah, which I unbelievably thought he had to go through extensive makeup to uh, go from one character to the other. Well, let's just say he put on a false beard. That's really all that happened. Let's go inside there. Okay. So this is the foyer, yeah. very ornately done out with Christmas trees and everything. We yeah. come and do signings and photographs here after the show. We do. And after three years here, we're obviously very popular with all the staff at the Lauda. Yeah. 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 Great. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> let's take a wander through into the auditorium to see the merchandise area there there's an area for uh, sweets and drinks a bit further down and then the stage is over yeah, there so obviously yeah, yeah. That's very it. very exciting it is, it's yeah. Yeah. it's all right we're, we're in the no, we're in the, three in the show we're in the show oh, three years third year here. Yeah. Right. all right and then <laughs> we're going to come up onto the stage here you to get the full louder experience. Obviously, not lit up at the moment. And uh, there you go, rather exciting, although I'm now in silhouette. <laughs> and so am I. <laughs> but I was going to show you one other very important part of the louder front of house experience. And um, we go over this way. And of course, through this doorway, we'll get to the bar. This is the bar area. Really, yeah, yeah. very important, but it's yeah. closed right now. Yeah, okay. But we're going to wander back through into the dressing room. Yeah, this we way. are. This way. Yeah. Who are you? Sorry? Who are you? Three years. Three years. Three years. Yeah. Third year here. Come on, guys. Um, this is our wardrobe department. Wardrobe department, right there. But yeah. rather fittingly, obviously, Simmons and Simmons. Number one dressing room. Yes. Although there is a rip in the sign, which I believe was caused by Robert Plant. We'll go into that later. Great. Here we are. So, looking back on our three seasons here in Lytham, do you have any overriding memories and thoughts? And yeah, feelings? I do. Yeah, I suppose I do, actually. We I do remember that Dick Whittington, for some reason, we gave ourselves a slightly harsh quick change <laughs> into an underwater scene when we'd all been shipwrecked. Yes. And uh, the popular song of the time was Despacito, wasn't it? That's right. We didn't have to sing Spanish, but uh, I remember <laughs> we had to dance. A well choreographed routine by Adam Ludwell, our choreographer. Yeah. Uh, but we decided we should wear flippers. That's right, and snorkels and, and masks. Which can only be described as making it very difficult for yourself. It was certainly difficult for me, I tell you, but I did get it right by the last shot. Yeah, so that. well done with that. Yeah. But it was the four of us, wasn't it? It was Will Nightingale, our Dane. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Danny Rogers. Danny Rogers and you and me doing this uh, very silly dance. I was the captain of the ship in Dick Whittington, so we released the captain's vlog every day, which I was quite pleased with. They can still be found on Facebook. <laughs> Our King Rat uh, that year was also Charles Sanford, who yes. uh, played an excellent baddie, actually. And we had a lovely fairy who was Gracie Styling. I remember in the dress rehearsal, she fell and hurt her foot quite badly in the, on the finale treads. And... Um, Doctor Theatre took effect and uh, she did really she well. Through it. Bravely got through all the performances. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, right. We had a fantastic leading lady in Millie Hansford as well. 
and uh, she then stayed on and was the leading lady in Snow White the following year, wasn't yeah. she? Most pantomimes, you get kind of dancers that might be at drama schools and things like that, or in dance colleges. Yeah. Uh, but here we use the Langley Dance Centre, and they're fabulous, uh, run by Donna Langley. It's uh, really well respected. Yeah. And in the uh, Snow White we did last year, um, some of the younger performers from the Langleys got to be the dwarves, didn't they? That's right. Just going back to that Dick Whittington, uh, Kitty Harris uh, was one of the Langley dance school then, and Kitty is, of course, the daughter of the late Keith Harris, the great Keith Harris ventriloquist yeah. with Orville and Cuddles, who uh, I did a couple of summers, three summer seasons with, actually. And so Kitty understudied the uh, female parts in the show, she didn't did, she, yeah, as well? Yeah. Also in Dick Whittington, we had Matthew Wellman as Dick Whittington, That's and right. uh, he did an excellent end of Act One singing This Is The Moment. Yeah. Right. And then we moved on the second year then to Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, yeah. and uh, were ably assisted, slightly bizarrely, by Joe Brand as oh, the Magic yes. Mirror. Yes. Um, which was initially exciting. We thought we were going to be working with Joe Brand for five weeks, but uh, she was the video recording in the mirror so we did work with her for five weeks but not literally in person and joe doesn't even know it no joe might as well be one of the theater staff for how well she knows us <laughs> yeah, yeah that's true uh, but we had a great another great time. i remember we had a really emotional death scene because obviously people are supposed to think snow white has died and the wicked queen has successfully poisoned her obviously for younger viewers watching, it does all get resolved in the end, I panic. <laughs> but uh, we did a really good rendition of Coldplay's Fix You, didn't we? Yeah. Where uh, Snow White came round again, thanks to the love of the prince. And um, the majority of that song, Fix You, in that scene, was sung by our fabulous fairy, Anna Morgan. Yeah, yeah. Um, did it beautifully, it was brilliant. We also changed, uh, did a new idea for, so that the Wicked Queen thought Snow White was dead, uh, normally to have a pig's heart and a thing it's a bit gory so we changed it we did a different thing and had to have a movie camera yeah we had a film reconstruction of her death to show the wicked queen to make her believe snow white had been killed yeah. and, and Billy hansford's dad glenn made us a brilliant movie camera prop yeah he did which yeah. is excellent uh, very very pleased with that. And just to give you an insight, he's made us another prop this year for Aladdin, um, which is a countdown letters board, which is rather impressive. So <laughs> yes, I think he should look at a second career full time making props. Yeah, definitely. We also had that year a great dame with us who's become a great mate because he was also with us in Chesterfield yeah. uh, a couple of years before. Uh, and that was Gregory Ashton, or as we call him, Ash. Yeah. And, or uh, Dame Gladys, as he's known to be. Exactly, millions, fabulous. Yeah. As you say, and uh, he did a great. I, I remember having to help him do a quick change in yeah. the wings, was a bit emotional. Most performances, but we always managed it. There was one scene where um, the prince, Tristan Ward, who was an excellent prince, was frozen by the Wicked Queen. She'd frozen him on stage, and um, cool. I had to come on as the henchman. I was Herman the henchman, and I had to carry the frozen prince off stage, and it was quite amusing. He just stayed rigidly frozen while I picked him up. Although for one show, I have no idea why, I just completely forgot to come on. And he's frozen and can't really leave the stage. <laughs> and she said to him, I think you better go. And he had to try and walk off in this really awkward, not really moving, frozen state, <laughs> which is very difficult. It was rather strange. Huge apologies yeah. for that error on my part. Yeah. I should have said, by the way, that's Janine Pardo, who played the Wicked Queen brilliantly. Yes, absolutely. She was very evil and very <laughs> lovely at the same yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> I've just remembered something important, something that featured quite heavily in our behind the scenes videos, the captain's vlog in Dick Whittington, was Rob the Gorilla, oh, yes. who made a big name for himself that year. <laughs> <laughs> our ASM was Robert Fletcher, who was a great guy, and uh, we forced him to come on in the ghost gag as the gorilla, but he made it his own really, didn't he? He did, yes, he certainly did. <laughs> and, uh, and Ali was in the corner, wasn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Looking after things. Ali Howe was our company manager that year, but Rob the Gorilla um, featured very heavily in those um, Captain's Vlog videos. <laughs> we kept we kept referring back to him at different points. Uh, and, uh, and Jez was our company manager last year in Snow yeah, White. Yeah, for Snow White, Jeremy Barnaby, known yeah. to many as Jez. Yeah. Um, but yeah, basically, thanks to everyone who's been involved with Dick Whittington and Snow White here at the Lowther. They were great seasons, but this is our third year here at the Lava and it's your 50th pantomime. Well, it's my 50th, it's your 20th, and it's our 15th together. It is, and it's particularly memorable, it's Aladdin.
on our quest to talk to the other members of the company, we come to what is known as the lads dressing room. The lads. Lads, 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 lads. 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 <laughs> Hello, Hello. Five, 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 put this up Hello. here, we can get you all in. Here we are, wonderful. How, how are you? We're wonderful, we're wonderful. We're good. We're good. Just, to explain, well, lads. just to explain, this is Ryan at the end, who's our emperor. We've got Nick, who's our Vanaza, Harvey, who's our genie, and Dan, who can only be described as the title character. Brilliant. So, and if anything goes wrong, it's yeah. your fault. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 So, okay. Great. So, have you got any uh, overriding memories of this season, gents? Anyone want to say anything? Uh, it's been pretty uneventful, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, both Brian and Nick, you've gone for extensive makeup for your roles this year. Yeah. How long does it take each of you to create? At first, about six hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've got it down to half an hour. <laughs> yeah, I'm still six hours. <laughs> that is dedication. Right. Well, thank you. Who's wearing makeup? Thanks so much. We'll see you soon. Cheers, guys. So we're now going to ask the ladies of the company how they're finding it. So we are. We're just checking. Hello. 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 Can I put this Long up here? time no see. Are you all right? Just about to see everyone. And uh, here are our fabulous Aladdin ladies. Yes. We've got Bella at the far end there, who's Hello. the princess. Hello. We have Amelia, who's the yes. slave of the ring slash fairy. Yeah. And then excitingly, we've got Amber and Erin from the Langley Dance Centre. And it's our third year of working with you yeah. guys. Yeah, it's, here at the yeah, it's amazing. Have you uh, enjoyed each year incredibly? Yeah, yeah. definitely. You've had more responsibility each time, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Dance, so dance captain. More, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Putting everyone through their paces. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Bella and Amelia, how are you enjoying this uh, season? Absolutely yeah. fab time. Thank you very much. Wonderful. I love rhythm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Good. Great. Great. Good. Great. Wonderful. And um, as you know, this has been my 50th pantomime, Whoops. this one. So thank you for sharing it with me. Right. And, this um, is my first pantomime. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Will, will you always... That explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> will you always look back on it fondly, Ben? Yeah, I will. Actually. Yeah, good. Well, How many fine. have you done, Amelia? This is my second. Oh, second. Right, right. So right. you can be honest. How does it compare to last year? Yeah. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, a very important character in each pantomime is the Dane. And we have a wonderful dame with us this year, and I'll show you his costumes before I show you the dame. Look at these costumes, they're incredible. Incredibly ornate. But these are just costumes. his everyday costumes, these aren't for the show. It's quite and then, Look at all this, all these incredible wigs. Amazing. Obviously, uh, very, very well attired. We have the fabulous Jamie Jones with us. Hello, I'm going to talk to you in a mirror then. Yeah, yeah. I'll turn around. We can. If I Hello. up here, we can all get in. Well, the fabulous. Yes, there we are. Okay. So, um, how have you found this season, Jamie? Awful. Just shut <laughs> yeah, No, sorry. it's been fab. I'm working with you two, obviously. It's brilliant. Um, well, it's for like... your 50th year in pantomime. Yeah. Yeah. It's very special. It's We've just, nice been, asking, fun, we've just been asking some of the others, how many pantos have you done now? Uh, do you know, I'm never counting. 51. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't know, probably about, oh, I don't know, I've done lots of pantos over the summer, so probably about 10. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Probably yeah, about, yeah. it's probably my sixth Christmas, I think. Yeah, so, right, sure. Um, but I love it, I think it's great. It's such a fabulous part of Christmas. Yeah, yeah it's it's totally it's, yeah, yeah. It's, um, yeah. it's good. And I have to say, you look wonderful every single time you come on. Thank yeah. you, I'll give you that 20 quid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How long did it take to create the uh, washing machine costume? Uh, I don't know, a couple of weeks, a lot of trial and error. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah. I've told you about the original, haven't I, with the bubble machine. Oh, well, okay. yeah. So, so the original, the Type 1 hot point had a functioning <laughs> door with a bubble machine, so oh. bubbles came out. Yeah. And as I walked in it, all the bubble solutions sloshed down my legs, it looked like a wet myself. So, <laughs> so we had to scrap that, brilliant. and now we've just got a, a static door, yeah. but it gets a good response. Yeah, yeah it's brilliant. It does. Uh, do you know what, the, the audiences have been great. They have, yeah. yeah. Uh, and just the whole cast has been brilliant, and yeah. we all get on like a house on fire. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think that's what makes it for me. Yeah, so that, and that's a yeah. worry, because I did see uh, Jamie bringing a fire extinguisher into this category earlier, <laughs> yeah, which is absolutely hot true. stuff, that's what it is. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> this is an exciting location. You don't often get to see this part of the Louder Pavilion. We're here in the offices and the marketing department. Yes, in fact, what we call the nerve centre 
of the Lowther. And this man has interviewed us many times for marketing purposes. We're going to interview him. It's Ross Morgan, the head of marketing. <laughs> Who's got a nerve being in here. That's why it's the nerve centre. He's just trying to get that gag in. Well done, it. it was worth it. Ross. How, how are you, Ross? Oh, I can't cope. I can't. <laughs> oh, I'm great, I'm great. great well, yes. we've just been saying this is our third year here at the Lowther. Obviously, this is a special year with Dad's 50th panto, my 20th, our 15th together. How's it been for you on the whole? Oh, it's been amazing. I always say when, when you two come to town, um, I'm either laughing or crying. Or <laughs> crying. But, uh, no, it's, it's, it's always amazing and to, to have your special pants on here for us, it's amazing. Because yeah. I know that Lytham loves you when we went to Stringers and there's a lot of people looking to get pictures of you. Great. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Dad. Yeah, they didn't want to know. I was dressed as a policeman, so that didn't that did have some uh, sway on it, I think. Yeah. yeah. But no, we love coming here. It's uh, it's been great so yeah, far. Yeah. But we're very proud to say uh, each year the box office has grown. Correct, hasn't yeah, it? again, um, this time, so. we've record, broken box office yeah, record. Record breaking panto again this year. So <laughs> there we are, Ross Morgan, ladies and gentlemen, who is available to do bar mitzvahs <laughs> and weddings yeah. and birthdays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, time has moved on now. We're in the middle of a show. We are. And uh, we're here in our company manager's office. It's feeling very festive today. Yes. We've got the fabulous Jenny Northam with us. Uh, Hello. 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 How are you? Welcome to my office. <laughs> Thanks. Um, you've really gone for it at Christmas time, haven't you? Yes, I wear well, this every Christmas. Each year, yeah, I'm going to say. We've been together at uh, Worthing, at yeah. the Connaught Theatre at Worthing, at the Pavilion Theatre at Worthing. Two years at the Pavilion. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. So, so thanks for being a fabulous company manager. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, thank you for being a great cast. Oh, it's wonderful. How have you found dealing with all the trials and tribulations? Um, we've had our ups and downs. Yes. Yeah. But the cast have been brilliant yeah. and we've really pulled together as a team, haven't we? We have. Yeah, it's been yeah. fabulous. Yeah. Well, thanks so much. Thank great. you. Well, we've ventured under the stage to a very important place here because we're in our musical headquarters and uh, we've got our musical director Daniel and our fabulous drummer Phil. Hello gents. Hi hey guys. Just here wanted to say thanks for a fabulous season. How's it been for you guys? It's been a really good season. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Well, of Wonderful. course, uh, Phil, you were with us last year as well. Yeah, that's and, right. Uh, that was my first panto. Yeah, you've come back yeah, for more. Yeah. So. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> And yeah. Daniel, this is your first here with us. It How is. have you found the Lowther? Have you enjoyed it? It's been a great venue, mm. um, and especially, uh, really, it's a really special venue with the Keats um, 50th Panther. Yeah, thank absolutely. You. Thank you. Well, thank you both for sharing it with me yeah. this year. As a symbol of our affection, uh, <laughs> you've made it a big hit. Oh, I'll have to do it. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've carried on wandering around, and excitingly, you might be able to see on the sign behind me, we've made it to wardrobe. We have. The fabulous Nigel Robinson Wright is hard at work there with the Emperor. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> running repairs. Really Nigel, how have you found uh, running the wardrobe this season? It's been um, fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been cracking. Oh, we've had a laugh. I did like the pause just yeah. before the word fun. <laughs> it has been fun. <laughs> it has been. Have you had a lot of repairs and things like that? Or was most of the work in rehearsals getting the costumes? And um, Most of it was getting costumes and doing it. And sorting them out. Yeah. Sorting yeah. them out. Yeah. Yeah. Repairs yeah. have been okay. Everyone's it's behaving themselves costume-wise, really. Most of them. That's fabulous. <laughs> well... At the end of every night here at the Lowther Pavilion, over the last three years, we leave the theatre by this door here, the stage door. Sorry. And tonight we're going to do exactly the same. And this now marks the end of this look back at my dad's career of 50 pantomimes, which is quite incredible. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed tuning into all of them. Thanks so much for taking an interest. Yeah, I'd just like to say thank you for viewing them all. So here we are at the end of our third year at the Lowther Pavilion, bringing up my 50. Thanks a lot. See you again soon. All Cheers. Let's go out the stage door. Yeah, let's do that. Push bar to open. That's what I've done. It's emotional. <laughs> Bye for now. Dreams come true and couplets prime in the land of pantomime.